now I got back from Asia two days ago and I have the worst jet lag. I have been up since 2.30 in the morning, so I feel in a daze. My skin's freaking out from traveling. I'm just like, I'm, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> I'm just a mess, I'm just a jet lag mess. Anyways, I am so, so excited to show you today's video. I'm taking you along on my trip to Asia. I went to Hong Kong, which is a little crazy because the protests were happening. So I talk about that, show you a little of that in this video. I also went to China and Vietnam, which I absolutely love. Um, so why did I go? For pleasure, but also for business. For those of you guys who don't know, I invented and produced Top Tote, that little hat clip back there. And although we do produce some in the US, we also produce in Asia. So I went to meet with my factories and suppliers. And I think you guys are gonna find this video really interesting, because I went in and I documented how things are actually actually made. I think there's a huge misconception about how our handbags and wallets are made and I'm going to show you really how it is. Like it's pretty eye-opening and inspiring to really see what goes into those things that we use and honestly most of the time take for granted. And it's also a travel guide. I'm showing what I eat and the random funny stuff that happened and like the weird stuff and like all the things, so keep watching. But before we get into that video, I am giving away $1,000. I know that sounds a little random, but I partnered with some of my influencer friends. You guys may have heard of them. Miss Louie, Sydney, Elizabeth, Christy, and Naomi. And all you have to do to enter to win the $1,000 is click on the description and follow them on Instagram and YouTube. Now, I know that sounds like a lot of work, but you guys, remember, it's $1,000 cash money that one of you guys are going to win. So it's really worth the small investment of time to go in my description box and follow all of them because yeah, it's $1,000. Like I want $1,000 right now. If I heard of this giveaway, I would enter it, honestly. So um, I also thought these girls have similar content, so it'll kind of be cool for you guys to discover um, these girls as well. So I've included all the details as far as the deadline and what you have to do and everything in the description below because I didn't want to bore you guys with all that. Um, but yeah, so continue to watch this video and I am going to take a nap because I am exhausted. Woo! All right guys, so I did something that I never do, ever, I upgraded to business class. It's a treat yourself moment. I've never flown business on my own dollar. <laughs> I'm too cheap. But to be honest, when they said I could upgrade, I called my husband and I was like, babe, should I do it? And he's like, yes, babe, you deserve it. So here I am, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm nerding out a little bit. It's such a treat, you guys. So this is my little pod, wait, I'll show you. Please don't hesitate to ask a flight attendant for assistance. Alright, so I just landed in Hong Kong. Oh my god, I'm a mess. Two things that I'm always nervous about when traveling to Asia. Getting sick and the heat. It's 6am right now and it's 85 degrees and 90% humidity. My god! And by the way, when... Uh, I was told we're not staying in Hong Kong because of the protests. I was like, should I even be going to Hong Kong right now? I mean, just got to my room, you guys. I'm a greasy mess. They didn't have my room ready, so I'm just like sitting greasy <laughs> in the lounge area for hours. So I'm so happy to be in here. So let's check it out. Wow, this is a big room. Huge bed, sitting area. Uh, I definitely wasn't expecting to have a view of a pirate ship when I'm in China. I don't really know what to think about this, but uh, could be worse. <laughs> that building's cool though. So the decor in this place is a little interesting. There's like bowls everywhere. It's Spanish theme. I mean, there's bowls, look, look, bowl. Um, but then there's like pirate ships, so it's like, a pot oh there's another bowl <laughs> it's like pirate ship theme too so it's kind of like I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like pirates of the caribbean I, I don't understand the mashup and everyone who works here is dressed like the spanish bullfighters they're wearing the hats and the boleros and, and the knickers and i just i don't know oh there's another bowl they got the bullshit down. <laughs> oh my 
bowl above the toilet. Oh, let's see. Oh, bowl. Another one. <gasps> I rest my case. Okay, beginning of this video is a lot of me because I don't have a friend here today. Um, my team gets here tomorrow, so it's just you and I, and I'm deliriously jet lagged and just amongst the bowls and the pirate ships. <laughs> this place is so kooky, like me. So there's a typhoon happening and my head of production, her name's Nestle, her flight has been canceled twice. So I have to go to my next meeting alone. I don't like that cause like she knows so much more than me with this. And like, I always wanna like make sure I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> in these meetings so here goes oh and here's my outfit I'm so excited this is Jessica she's the owner of my factory look how cute she looks so we Jessica's company is the first company that ever made top tote so we've been together since the beginning and yeah. now it's like a real thing yeah it's so exciting yes. so I'm going to see my shipment of thousands and thousands of units right now at her office and I'm so excited but seriously Jessica you look so cute <laughs> look at her so I'm launching a new product that's not top tote or hat related so I'm going to see the sample right now that we're having made um, but I'm not gonna well, am I gonna show you guys? I don't know. We'll see. Man, I wish I knew Chinese. Chinese or Mandarin? A Mandarin. Huh? Mandarin. What? Chinese. Oh. <laughs> and look at, I have a warm welcome. You are very famous oh, here. I, wait, wait, say that again. <laughs> you are very famous in my office. <laughs> I'm so, so humbled. Say hi with everyone. I know. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm like so touched. Oh. Wait, this is all my stuff. Like, this kind of scares me. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Honestly, how thorough and meticulous they are, I'm just constantly blown away and I am so grateful like this it, it's it's a just I just am so it's a dream come true that's what it is look at all this look at all top toe all top toe oh come here all and Because it's magnet, uh -huh. so uh, when you use this, because fa fa factory already tried this one, uh -huh. and because sometimes we move up on and down, okay. So when you, it is not uh, at the same position, I see. When you, so what I've realized in starting my business is when you finish something, you redo it, <laughs> right? <laughs> you make it better, right? Or you try and kind of figure out a new way to do things. So. The work is never done. <laughs> okay, I learned that in China, if you buy a house, you can only own it for 17 years because the Chinese government owns the houses, right? All the houses. And also, Chinese people don't wear sunglasses. <laughs> they don't, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, they use true. umbrella. <laughs> umbrella, they use umbrellas. <laughs> All right, it has been like an unbelievable epic trip. I have a bit of a day off today, and actually, uh, my head of production's been stranded in Shanghai and can't meet me because there's been a typhoon, so I've been taking all these meetings by myself, but you guys, I'm so humbled and just excited for the future. Um, right now, I'm taking time off. I'm touring the pool at my hotel, which feels like I'm an amusement park, Pirates of the Caribbean. So while I'm checking it out, being like, do I wanna hang out here, do I not? I'm listening to the music and, uh, Listen. I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. Yep, Christmas music. And it's loud, and I don't know if I can hang out here. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people don't understand. Oh, Jingle Bells. 
Jingle bells. <laughs> oh my God. It just keeps getting more and more random here on my trip. But you know what? That makes for a lot of really great stories. And I'm actually happy all this random stuff has been happening because I've been able to share it with you guys. All in all, it's Christmas in China in August, <laughs> in paradise. All right, I'm going out to dinner um and i'm hot i tried to straighten my hair i went out for five seconds and it's a frizzy mess so i'm getting used to it but we're doing okay i love my dress so this is from and other stories i saw it and i got it on sale i was so happy just before i left i added these silver shoes because i thought why not and this little bag is from mango i got this a while ago actually and i just love the little geometric kind of Oh, I need a slip. You can kind of see every lump and bump I'm putting on the slip right now. It kind of feels a little Asian inspired. All right, I'm starved. I don't know where I last left off. Oh, but oh, man, yesterday being at the factory and seeing Top Tote and like just the warm welcome and everything, it's just it's like such a dream come true. And I just, I just hope it keeps going. You know, that's, that's what I'm working hard for. And um, so yeah, so right now I'm waiting for my consultant Joe and my head of production, Nestle. They were, tr they were supposed to be here two days ago, but they've been stranded in Shanghai because there was a typhoon. So they're coming tonight and we're gonna have a drink together and I'm excited because more adventures tomorrow. I don't know why I sing that, but I'm just so happy. They made it, Nestle and Joe. <laughs> they've been stuck in a typhoon. Cyclone? I don't know, but they're here. So we're doing another factory visit and I'm so happy to have them. This factory is um, definitely jungle theme. There is a, an egg, oh, and there is a, oh wow, look at this place. Oh, maybe they will work with Jurassic Park? What? Are we in the wrong factory? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, here we go. Here's, look, there's something from Tory Burch. Yep, I want to be in a factory that Tory Burch is in. This is so cool, you guys. This factory works with Burberry, Disney, Tory Burch, Coach, Prada, and we're walking around and I'm seeing all the different projects for these huge brands. Oh my God, can't imagine having my brand here. I know you guys may not know this, but um, the outline of your bag and wallets are always edge painted, you know, that smooth finish on the side. And this guy is edge painting the outlines of the bags, I'll show you. It's honestly unbelievable what is handmade and you would never imagine. You would think just like machines are making these things, but no, people are assembling most of the things that we are using every day. I mean, this is a whole wallet production line and all of these people are assembling all of these wallets by hand. It's just, it's fascinating and it's, it's, it's art. It's truly an art. <laughs> oh my god what a trip it has been i can't believe i've already been here six days like it went by so fast and it's just been the most incredible successful trip it just feels so good to be here um so i keep forgetting to show you guys my outfit so here is today um this is a dress from zara you guys see i always wear these necklaces 
Um, I got this dress from Zara. This belt is so old. And uh, I've had these shoes for a long time too. These shoes are from Mango. You guys know I love to shop there. Day six, we got a lot of work to do. It is 7 a.m., which means at home it's like yesterday, I don't know. Okay, let's go. So we stopped, We're, we have a two hour drive to our next factory, but we stopped, we have to go to the bathroom, but Nestle's scared because the, in, oh, this is American toilet. <laughs> so happy because in China, there's a hole on the ground. Yeah, in China, there's a hole on the ground. What do we need? I don't have tissue. And you also have to BYOT, bring your own tissue to the toilet. Oh, I have to tell you, it is so unbelievably fascinating to see how things are made. And I've said it once, but I will say it again. I think as consumers, we think that machines make most of the products that we purchase and carry all the time. And it's just not true. I mean, these people are working to assemble wallets and handbags all by hand and it's just, impressive it really is and makes you appreciate what you have more when you see how it is made and becomes what it is where they test the strength of the handle of your handbag. And there's all kinds of other information as to what strength they're testing for, but this is really what happens with all handbags that are made. They go through these tests. Pretty crazy, huh? So last day in China, um, we were supposed to fly out uh, later this afternoon, but um, I don't know if you guys have been watching the news, huge protests are going on at the Hong Kong airport. They even closed the airport yesterday. Um, it's kind of scary uh, entering into any situation like that with thousands and thousands of anxious protesters. Um, so we're trying, we woke up early and we're trying to get out of Shenzhen. So we're gonna see how today goes, I guess. You just never know, but fingers crossed because we have some meetings tomorrow. So here goes. We did it. It's mayhem at the Hong Kong airport, but Nestle's the best and booked us out of Shenzhen. And uh, we, have, we have our, what it's not a welcome committee, but this is our, they're our friends, seeing us off. Next stop, Vietnam. We just got to Vietnam. I am already loving it here because look, coconut. <laughs> My favorite thing, now I'm officially, well, I'm here for work, but vacation too. Not really vacation, but I'm pretending. Oh, we just got to the hotel, Park Hyatt in Ho Chi Minh City, and I've been in Vietnam for an hour and I'm already loving it. The people, the hospitality so far, and even just like the vibe here. Oh, I can't wait. Look at how charming this room is so pretty look at and they gave us a little welcome coconut which makes me feel like i'm on vacation some dried mangoes and i think this is dragon fruit it is crazy here Oh wow, so we're doing a little sightseeing today and uh, this place is chaotic. Oh sorry. <laughs> a very cool experience though. Here we are visiting the pink church. <laughs>
Okay, so we just left the pink church and thank God for Joe right here. <laughs> we took a hundred photos. <laughs> she was like, directed it perfectly. She was like, hold on, there's people there, this, that. I was like, thank you. And then she said, next time we need to have, what did you say, the setup? Yeah, those two. What we need is a photographer, is what we really need. It to need. be perfect. Yes, we need it to be perfect. I love her. <laughs> we got it, though. You have to really, like, bend over. And then you enter the restaurant. So cute. And um, there's another little doorway. Where did they go? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> this place is so cute. Nestle's like, what is up with the doorways? Well, they're perfect for a little you. <laughs> but do you use this for this? No. Sure. Okay, so what? Which one for this? This? No. Yeah. He's okay. Yeah? Ooh. Stuff on stuff on stuff. Can you say hello? We are in a Vietnamese market right now and Is that for you? just okay. tons of stuff. So Nestle just told me that a lot of Nike and Adidas is made here in Vietnam. So we're trying to figure out if the Nike and Adidas we see at the market is real or a knockoff because I'm pretty sure they're not selling Gucci, or is it Gucci and Goyard here? So I think it's safe to say it's knockoffs. All right, so it's my last day in Vietnam and we're headed to a factory for a special project that we're doing that we are not announcing just yet. So I'm so excited. But I'm gonna be talking about it soon, so Oh, I see it. Sorry to be such a tease, but it's coming, it's coming. Now for the tour. Nestle told me this was gonna be next level, so let's see. Wow. This factory means business. They output about one to two million handbags a year. Oh God, crazy. Woo. This has got to be one of the most unbelievable things I've seen my whole trip. Just the amount of hard working people. Oh my God. There's just... Nestle told me this was going to be next level. <laughs> Look at all these people. I don't even know if you guys can see. Wow. Serious machinery. This is where they make handbag accessories. So you know all the little metal parts on your handbag accessories? It's in factories like this. They actually cast them and make them. So when we go in, I'm in the bathroom. So when we was the light. So when we went into the factory, all of a sudden we see hundreds of our hardware with my name on it, and like, and Nestle was like, um, we didn't ask you to do that. And I was like, yeah, what's going on? We figured it out, but it was at first like, why do you have hundreds of Lindsay Albanese hardware? Like, why are you working on that? We're just saying hello and visiting the factory. It's nice of them, but it just took us by surprise. I just have to record this because when we walked in and saw all my hardware being made, <laughs> we're like, what is going on? That was creepy <laughs> and annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And that, my friends, is a wrap. What an unbelievable trip. The right amount of work and play, and I'm just so grateful, and I hope um, there are a few of you who watch this to the end. I know there's a lot, but um, thank you so much, and uh, let me know if you like these videos. That's most important, because uh, they're, it's kind of a lot to shoot them, and if you don't like them, I'll stop. <laughs> Actually, no, it's a good do documentation of what's going on. All right, gotta go. Gotta get on this flight, 14 hours. <gasps>